Now you do. Did you get your pride card yet? Free pride card there. Ooh, let's see. Get you one. There you go. You guys get one? Free for you there today. Got some good information. Got the gospel. You get a pride card yet? No. There you go. What do you think of the signs? I don't even know what it says. Uh, look, yeah, this is the, probably the one that people don't really read. Got a lot of words on it. That makes sense? Yeah, yeah, and then there's here's the gospel. This is the good news on that's kind of bad news, right? There's the good news on this side. Do you have like a Christian background at all? Yeah, some Christian. Uh huh. And, and do you know where you're gonna go when you die? Heaven. Oh, and why? Why do you? Why would you say that? Because I'm a good person. Oh, okay, excellent, excellent. So have you kept the Ten Commandments? Do you think? I mean, I did not go to church or anything, uh, but I do believe in God. Well, like, like, uh, how many lies have you told? That's a good place to start. Like, I mean, more than ten? Of course. As a kid, okay, I so, lied all the time. Okay. Well, that's. I think that's. I think you're telling the truth. I believe you. Um, so, what would you call somebody who's told lies? I mean, it depends, with an L. depends on, I mean, if you were younger and a kid, you're just a fucking kid because kids tell lies. Yeah, yeah. So you'd be a liar, right? That'd be right. fair to say. Yeah. And have you ever stolen anything in your entire life? Of course. Yeah. I was younger. The eighth commandment. Yeah. You, good memory. Good memory. And have you ever used God's name in vain before? What does in vain mean? I mean like useless, like, oh, G-O-D, it's hot today, or oh, G-O-D, it's smoky, or, or you bump your knee, on, uh, bump your knee on something and go, oh, J-C, you Jesus' name, because oh, Jesus absolutely. is God, right? So absolutely. that's blasphemy. And then Jesus said, you've heard it said to them of old, do not commit adultery. But I say to you, whoever looks at a woman to lust after her has already committed adultery with them in their heart. So looking with lust, do you think you've ever looked at someone with lust before? Like, like thinking sex, someone's beautiful? Sexual intent. No, not if I said, oh, I, that's a beautiful girl. I like her dress. Her hair is beautiful. That's different. That's admiring. But when you say, oh, that person, I want to have sex with that person. I want to do this or that. Have you ever done I that? Think that's in, I think that's human. It is human. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. natural, right? Yeah. Right. But a lot of things are not. Arsenic is natural. Cyanide is natural. But are they good for you? No, no. No, they're not. So, so by your own admission, you're a lying thief, a blasphemer, and an adulterer at heart, according to Jesus. So, if God were to judge you based on that, what do you think He would say? How, how would He judge you? Be innocent? I would go to heaven. Innocent I would or, most definitely well, go to heaven. But would you be innocent or guilty, do you think? I'm human. I think that's So you'd be guilty am. then, right? I'm definitely human. Everyone right. makes mistakes. Well, it's good. I know you're not an android. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it, we're all only human. Uh, and we're going to make mistakes. No one's perfect. And that's right. okay. That's okay. Yeah. We all learn from our mistakes. But, but Jesus said that you must be perfect as your Father in heaven. But no enter one into is perfect. No one is perfect. Right. Exactly. That's the rub. That's the problem. So you're not perfect. But so no one is so perfect. Then so but no then you're going to go to heaven. Then. But, but if you have the perfection of Jesus Christ given to you as a free gift, eternal life is a free gift. You can't earn it. And get, by default, we're all children of wrath. We're headed to a place called hell, the Bible says, because we've lied, stolen, blasphemed, committed adultery of the heart. I right? Mean, at that Plus point, other I things. would be driving the bus to hell. Well, and I don't yeah. want you to go there, man. That's yeah, the, that's the, I thought that. you had to work. Are you lying again? You do not, I, yeah, no, you're okay. lying again. So, because you did say you're a liar, right? I'm not lying. I'm working you're, right you're, now. You're a liar. Man, because if you do have amplified sound, that's affecting my job. Okay? Uh huh. And we've already applied and received permits, so you cannot have amplified. Oh, I haven't turned my amplifier on yet. I suggest you get one of those. Also, okay. signage. We we approved. We like, got approved for for that. So no. Signage. Oh, so no free speech then. You can do free speech off here. So says okay. who? Says the permits that we've received. Okay. Right yeah. now, no. right now. We look up, look up, Gathright versus City of Portland, and uh, Mayberry versus. What, what you're gonna tell these, me to look these go up, to the okay? Ninth Circuit Court. Gathright versus you Portland went to the Ninth property. Circuit Court. You can so, be on property. You can't yeah, have signage there on There would property. be a huge lawsuit if you tried to to you come against us, and you would have problems. You have problems. Well, when the police get here, we'll see. No, well, they they won't because we know we've been doing this a while. So don't lie. <laughs> You have questions about the signs? 